Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse who I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back uh, to a beer review that I am super, super stoked to be doing tonight. Um, tonight's beer is Woot Stout. Oops. 2.0 from Stone. Um, latest in their collaboration series. It is a huge, huge, huge beer. 13.5% alcohol by volume. Um, and it's their uh, kind of sequel, I guess, to their Woot Stout they did last year. I unfortunately did not get my hands on a Woot Stout last year, um, which kind of bums me out. But if anyone that's watching this has any leftover, maybe, laying around, you want to trade for something, possibly sell one, I'd love to check it out. But um, this one was just, it was released on Monday, so two days ago. The date on this actually shows that it was bottled on 628, so this is um, still really, really fresh. Um, but being a 13.5% alcohol by volume beer, I mean, this thing can be cellared forever. Um, and I'm sure it would still be fantastic. I'm sure a beer like this will actually get better as it ages. So um, this just shows it's a, a stout brewed with cocoa, pecans, wheat and rye, and a quarter of it is aged in bourbon barrels. So I'm uh, I'm really, really excited to try this. Collaboration with Drew Curtis from, I think he's from Fark.com, Aisha Tyler, who's the, I think she's a comedian, um, and Will Wheaton of Star Trek fame, and Stand By Me, one of my favorite movies ever. So... Um, yeah, I guess they first did this last year, uh, kind of as like a collab, kind of a nerd geek beer. Um, I guess these guys are all into to geeky stuff. I know Will Wheaton's a home brewer, so. Um, but yeah, they released it around Comic-Con. They called it HopCon, and this is this year's uh, uh, rendition of it. So I want to go ahead and check this out. I'm going to stop talking. Let's see how this is. I'm super stoked. Nice hits on the bottle. Let's go uh, go right down the middle on this one since it's such a big beer. Let's see if we can get any kind of head on it. I got a little bit of it. So, I mean, this thing, as you can see, it is pitch black. I mean, it looks exactly like a stout should. It actually looks freaking awesome in the glass. Uh, head is uh, about half a finger, khaki, super tight bubbles, really, really fluffy looking, almost pillowy, marshmallowy. <laughs> um, but yeah, it looks, uh, it looks great in the glass. So let's check it out. That smells magical. It's, uh, you get huge chocolate big chocolate sweetness. Um, you get a little bit of bourbon. 13.5%. I mean, you don't really smell a whole lot of the alcohol, which is, I mean, it's a well-made beer if you're not, if you're not smelling the, uh, the alcohol at 13.5%, but I get huge, huge chocolate notes. A little bit of roasted, uh, roasted malt and then the bourbon. Um, it's saying that it's brewed with pecans. I don't get any kind of pecan aroma. It's all, it's all huge chocolate. Uh, roasted malts and bourbon. So I want to go ahead and uh, check this out. Cheers. Whew. That is, uh, that's definitely a sipper. Man, that is delicious. You get uh, that sweetness up front. You get a little bit of that bourbon, huge chocolate notes. It, uh, it's it got a, uh, a, a full-bodied uh, mouthfeel, but it finishes really, really nice. You definitely get the bourbon on the back end and the finish. That is a fantastic, fantastic stout. You know what? You do get a little bit of that pecan. Oh man, that is delicious. Holy crap. I am very, 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 very stoked on this beer. It's crazy too, because it's still cold out of the fridge. So as this thing warms up, I know it's going to change. You get, oh man, there's alcohol legs on there. 13.5%, dude, you've you got to be careful with this beer, because it is delicious. 
but you fuck around with these, I mean, you'll wake up somewhere, you won't know where you're at. Oh, man. That's delicious. If you're a stout fan, you gotta check this stuff out. Stone is just, they are money. I'm telling you, man, they got, they have the beer game on lock. It's crazy. I love their beer. Oh, <laughs> their beer is so good. Oh, this is tasty. That bourbon character with the chocolate. Damn. Ale Smith's uh, Speedway Stout is one of my favorite stouts. And I think I like this one even better. And I just, I'm, I'm interested to see once it starts to warm up how it's going to taste. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let this hang out for, I don't know, 25, 30 minutes. And I'll come back and we'll see uh, we'll see how it changed. So I'll, uh, I'll be right back, guys. All right, uh, I'm back. I've been uh, sipping on this for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. It's uh, it's warmed up, come up to room temperature. It's just, it's getting better as it's sitting. Um, the boozies, uh, boozies is, the booziness is ramped up a little bit since it's warmed up. Um, you definitely get a lot more of the pecan um, once the chill kind of goes away. Um, the chocolate is still there. The bourbon's still there. This is a freaking an A plus. It's a ten, a million stars. I cannot, uh, I cannot recommend this uh, this beer enough. This is one of the best beers I've drank all year. This is freaking. I'm. I don't even know what to say. It is that damn good. So if you can, uh, if you can get your hands on this, I don't know how widely distributed it was. But uh, if you can get it, get it by multiples. Um, I got, I think I grabbed three of them the other day at the store. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go back and grab. I don't, know, I might grab a case of this and just sell it and just have it. I mean, it's gonna get better as it ages, anyways. Thirteen and a half percent. I'm telling you, you will get in trouble drinking these. <laughs> these will fuck your world up. <laughs> Holy crap, it's delicious. So, yeah, Wood Stout 2.0. A million stars, A plus, hundred. Freaking amazing beer. If you like stouts, check this out. And again, if anyone's got the first Woot Stout um, and you want to trade for something, or you want to sell one, or you want to send it to the show to be reviewed, <laughs> whatever you want to do, let me know. I want to check it out. Definitely want to compare it. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you guys subscribing. I appreciate the likes. Appreciate the comments. Um, and I really, really appreciate you guys sharing the videos. It's a uh, fun little channel. And I really, really enjoy uh, interacting with you guys. So uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. Cheers. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.